Hello friends, this is Schweb. Um, I'll be trying to show you uh, some techniques applying uh, solids. Uh, there's a problem on social media site. I have read uh, a post about uh, how to uh, create something in uh, for video editing, something from a very static page. Uh, so I'll be importing that and we'll show you how to do that using After Effects uh, for a video file. Uh, so I'm gonna bring in a couple pictures here and uh, a video at the same time. The first thing, uh, what the problem is, uh, if you just drag it in and in After Effects and put it right on top of Comp, uh, a new composition will be created here so uh, the person who asked the question wanted to know how he's gonna um, create these uh, elements on the top and bottom uh, but will uh, retain the center for his video uh, it's pretty straightforward technique but a lot of us doesn't know like how to do that after effects like in very uh, short amount of time uh, to save some like uh, hassles to like import something from Photoshop or Illustrator you can just like do it right here uh, the first thing I do is just like make this as my reference and uh, will create elements like this close to this not exactly like this uh, because there's certain things we'll be missing. Uh, first, we're gonna focus on like creating this border on the top and the bottom, like this uh, this uh, ocean color. At first, we go on layer from the top, uh, click on that. We are gonna fi find new, and we follow new, and we go uh, on solid. It's Control Y. You can use the shortcut just click on that then this dialog appears it says uh, what will be the name and all the details that you have to put uh, now uh, I'm assuming you can like uh, measure I in the info panel if you see this panel you can measure that like how long this is this is zero by the way after effect calculates uh, uh, the metric system from the top is being zero 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 coordinate and uh, from there you just like drag in the y coordinate increases the number right here you can see 97 98 so we go on layer new and then like click on solid and 98 we had the height so type it in using my keyboard 98 pick a color like let's pick this color whatever this ocean color is and press ok here it just appeared now when you're like, dragging this with your mouse press down shift and it will just gonna snap so go there and put it right there now you can see that new layer uh, composition uh, under this uh, menu here you can like press T on the keyboard to see the opacity and like turn that down so you can see every all the ref uh, rest of the elements um, behind the actual solid you can just uh, duplicate that using control D so I'm gonna press control and gonna press D so while the um, solid is selected you have to press that so uh, now it made a duplicate you can like again drag that you can just like put it here and maybe increase the width of the solid use your arrow keys on the keyboard to sort of place everything now uh, these are set now how we are gonna use uh, the text for that it's pretty similar just uh, click on layer new then text there you go 
this uh, sort of I will appear indicating that you can just like type in whatever you want it is right here in the middle now whatever is written there let's mimic that there you go now press on a uh, selection tool or press V oops just yeah like that and when you select that now you can drag it around press shift to like uh, have it sort of uh, go with your mouse I forget I forgot the term used for this uh, now we can again duplicate that or in this case I'm just gonna create another text and write that down okay now uh, I used caps lock so after effects just like goes weird when you like keep caps locks on so turn it off it's all gonna be okay and easier now uh, again shift uh, hold shift uh, and it will go along with your mouse I still can't remember the term okay anyways that's not important. The important part is like uh, opacity of the deep solids now can be changed back to 100%. Now go to them and uh, go press T, select that, and you're going to see it's 64% or whatever percentage that you put. Now that's that. You can, same way, you can like create the border. Uh, for border go on layer new now uh, now uh, it's a shape layer Sh so click on that uh, drag it drag a shape layer you can change the parameter of the shape layer using um, uh, the fill there's no fill here so you just can like click on that it's transparent fill so you can see underneath the and the side whichever color you want in this case it's black then just uh, use this uh, maybe it's not 18 maybe 8 pixel in white width uh, now let's just like create that as well there you go it's sort of somewhat there it's not 100% perfect now we can get rid of like the base uh, layer turn that off I got the video footage we can just like drag it in there you go your video footage can just uh, resize that hold shift so that it snaps yes yeah, snapping is like the word that I was looking for okay I finally got that lost word and I'll happy now uh, whatever this is uh, now you can like go on composition settings uh, on the composition settings go on composition settings and you can just uh, put in how long it is maybe yeah that long you can just like click on RAM preview now see your video is going and uh, uh, all the stuff that you try to make or mimic from the problem is there now uh, now you can render the entire thing uh, going to selecting the com first Oop, there you go selecting the com the problem the tab now go on um, composition make movie and it will give you the render queue down here you select click all of them do whatever you want to do that's all different things I hope you know how to do all these uh, and give it a name or whatever then like save it and it's gonna render out the entire thing so hopefully uh, this sort of uh, answer your question you can do everything within After Effects thank you